Okay, we're gonna do Pales Rails for ankle dorsiflexion. So, whenever I set up on this, I'm gonna get into a half kneel position, and I'm thinking about opening up range of motion on the back side of this ankle. So, you know, I'm gonna sit up nice and tall, nice and neutral, I'm gonna find my middle. Once I do, I'm gonna over that lead ankle. So the idea is I wanna open up this whole backside in terms of its range of motion. Now once I find my end range, whatever that is, I'm gonna hold position in that end range for the prescribed amount of time. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna breathe diaphragmatically, rest and digest in through my nose, out through my mouth, just allowing everything to elongate. Now, once I'm done here, I'm gonna initiate my contraction. So the first contraction is gonna be pushing away. I'm trying to open up the joint angle. Um, now, whenever I contract, I'm thinking about everything from my glute, my hamstrings, my calves, my bottom of my foot, pushing, pushing my knee back into this extended position. But what I'm gonna avoid that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ramp it up and push against myself you know, 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%. I'm pushing as hard as I can tolerate without losing that joint position. I'm gonna ramp that up for 30 seconds. And I'm gonna brace and breathe while I do this. And then I'm gonna relax, zero it back out. And now I'm thinking about everything in the front of my hip, front of my shin, front of my foot, pulling me deeper into that into that stretch. And so I even imagine there's a string at my, you know, my knee and it's pulling me into the floor. So after that first contraction, I'm pushing away. Second contraction, I'm actually pulling myself a little bit deeper into my stretch as hard as I can, ramping it up 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, whatever that is for you. I'm gonna do that for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna ramp back down to zero and relax. So go ahead and do that for the prescribed amount of time.